Well, first, we'd like to make sure that everyone is water safe. Um, can they be comfortable in the water and, and can they basically be, be able to not drown in a very simple way? Uh, after we get past that, and luckily most of these kids have that down, the majority, I would say 90% can swim without assistance. Uh, now what we're going to be working on doing is teaching them competitive strokes, uh, freestyle, backstroke, someday breaststroke, and eventually butterfly. Uh, because one, it's going to allow them to have much more confidence in the water, and, and two, this is another aspect of our sport. Our sport is a very white sport. So there might be a lot of kids here that might love the sport of swimming or the sport of diving, and they just never get that opportunity. So we're going to teach them these skills that they'll need for the very basics of each stroke, and hopefully the ones that will uh, really enjoy it, they'll join a team somewhere in the area. And for all of the others, they'll become much more confident and comfortable in the water, which is the goal. In the summer of 2020, I was thinking about it and I thought that I, with everything that was happening in the country and, and kind of in, in our you know, community, I really wanted to think about how I could make a difference to um, combat racism. And I thought, well, I'm only one person, but I'm a swim coach and I teach people how to swim. So I actually went to a community gathering at the uh, Hillcrest Apartments that summer and I talked to some people there and most of the people told me that they don't have a pool to swim in and they very rarely get pool time. I looked a little more into it and I realized that for African American communities, the likelihood that a child will drown is four times higher than a white child. Uh, for Hispanic kids, uh, three times higher. And what it comes down to is that they've been denied access generationally to pools. And when your parents don't know how to swim and your grandparents don't know how to swim, there's a really good chance that you will never learn how to swim. So I realized there was a problem right here in our community. And I talked with uh, my boss, my, the head coach, Elizabeth Likens, about it. And um, I talked with our team about it. They really liked the idea of volunteering our skills and our facility so that we could benefit our community by teaching them a life-saving skill. I mean, swimming is the only sport that is also a life-saving skill. Um, so it's been a lot of moving pieces and a lot of months of work uh, in the process, and we're very excited to have these kids from the YTL here because uh, I believe that we could really uh, make a really big impact in their lives and in the community. The idea has been run by and approved by our athletic director, Janet Cohn, and uh, our sports supervisor, uh, Aaron Spence. Uh, they both put in work to make sure this happens. Uh, Campus Rec themselves have agreed to not charge for the use of the pool, knowing that this is a big benefit to the community. And for the staffing of the lifeguards, as well as goggles for every child and a swim cap for every child that they could keep, uh, we have received a uh, very generous donation from Sunshine Chevrolet and uh, Christy Elliott. Uh, and with that money we've received, we've been able to pay the lifeguards and make sure that every kid, like I said, has a pair of goggles and a cap. Because uh, these kids, you know, they, they just don't know what they don't know. And they didn't know they <laughs> needed those things at the pool, right? So now, uh, because of that involvement from those other areas, this has become a uh, a reality really it's, it's been put together not just by not just by me or, or not just by our team or anything like that it's a lot of pieces together I also want to credit um, our title IX supervisor Heather Lindquist who's done a lot of work to make sure that everything is uh, in you know compliance with all the rules and uh, again Janelle Lassiter with the YTL which stands for youth transformed for life uh, she has done an amazing job and was really receptive to this idea from the very beginning. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of moving pieces and we're very thankful for all the work because uh, as we can see from today with the 24 kids we had in the water, they had a lot of fun and I think that they really enjoy, are going to enjoy this experience.